Loops are Kotlin's way of executing code multiple times. In this video, we will learn about one type of loop, the while loop. If you know another programming language, you will find the concepts and maybe even the syntax to be familiar, like Java. So if you want, you can go to our the complete Java developer course and see the loops syntax and uh, learn more about them. And you will see them familiar as Kotlin. So the while loop. While loop repeats a block of code while a condition is true. You create a while loop like this. While, you write the while uh, code and the keyword. And here is the condition. So here is the condition that you need to uh, put. And here is the loop code, okay? So this is the condition and this is the loop code, okay? This is the formula and the syntax of the while loop. The loop checks the condition for every iteration. And we are going to learn about the iteration in the next couple of minutes. So if the condition is true, then the loop executes and moves on the another iteration. If the condition is false, the loop stops, just like if expression while loops introduce a scoop. So the simplest while loop takes this form. While the condition is true, so while true, you can put like while tr true, go and execute the loop code. Uh, I will make an example to see you uh, how to make it. var x equal to 1. Okay, I will create a variable called x and assign a value 1 to it. Now, I will create a loop y equal to x less than 100. Go and make x equal to the old x plus x plus 1. This code calculates a mathematical sequence up to the point where the value is greater than 100. And every time you execute it, uh, print ln the value of x. Okay, now let's run and see. Here we go, we have this output. 3, 7, 15, 31, 63, and 1, 7, 2. Okay. Now, how these numbers have been calculated? This is the run tab, 3, 7, 15, and 31. How to run and how it will be executed. If we look how the while loop has been increased and how the iteration works, we find that X here represent the old X. So this is, the, the, uh, sorry, the new X. This is new X, new, and this is the old X, okay? Let me rename them and see how to work with it. So at first iteration, X equal to one. It enters here while x less than 100. Yes, the value, this condition is true. So go and execute this code inside the loop. Okay. Uh, let me use the eraser here. 
the pen. Okay, so we are going to execute this code, this code many times until the condition stops to be true. X, the new X at the first iteration equal to X, the old X plus the old X again, one and plus one. So this would make x equal to 3. So the printing would result at the first time with 3. Now, let me move to the second iteration. Goes up and checks if the condition still validated. So 3 now is less than 100 and it's true so go and execute this code again the old the new x equal to in the second iteration is equal to the old x which is a three plus it is a substitution of x the value of x three plus one okay so three equal three plus one which results in seven Okay, so this is the second iteration. Now, it prints out the result, which is seven, and goes up again to the third, uh, to the uh, third uh, iteration. Okay, so I will use now the pen with another color to ensure that you understand everything. It goes up. Now, seven less than 100, yes, seven is less than 100. So, goes and uh, execute this code again. X, the new value of X equal to seven plus seven into, sorry, uh, plus seven plus one into and 7 plus 1, 8 plus 7 equal to 15. Okay, so this is the value, the third value that we have got. It. Now, it prints out the result and goes up. It checks if 15 less than 100. Yes, 15 is less than 100. So it again, it again execute the new x equal to old x which is 15 plus 15 into 50 uh, plus 1 is equal to 16 plus 15 which is equal to 31 mm -hmm. so this is the result of the force iteration now I will change the color to be like um, this uh, blue. So 31, go, it print out the result and goes up to validate the condition. 31 is less than 100, yes. So go and execute the code again. So it, the new x equal at the fourth, at the fifth, iteration equal to 31 plus 31 plus 1. Okay, so 31 plus 1, 32 plus 31, it is equal to 36. It prints out the results. 30, 63. Now, it goes up again and the checks for 61 is less than 100 yes it is less than 100 so it repeats again x equal the new x equal to 63 plus 1 plus 63 60 plus 60, 120. Plus 7 equal 1, 2, 
seven. It's it prints out the one to seven and goes up. So I will change the color and goes up to here to the X to validate the condition. X let it, X is one to seven. Don't miss this now because we have the number here. Okay, so one to seven is less than 100 no so go and exit the loop and it will give us 3 7 15 31 63 and 127 from this way the kotlin calculates and deals with the loops and this is how the loop works in kotlin and other programming languages but mainly in kotlin